another episode of Swallow It. We have another bad girl in the building, Rocky. I haven't seen you since the Bad Girls Club 13 reunion. I know. I was like, you know what? You wrote me, I'm like, no, I'm gonna go fuck with Danny. Like, <laughs> we never had any beef. No, no. We didn't really fuck with each other like that, but like, we were always cool. Yeah, it was a weird, that was, first of all, that was like six years, six? Six years, yeah, and that whole show situation was, just... was, and fuss with the fucking therapist. It's like, we'll get into that. We're gonna take a stroll down memory. Okay, yeah. First of all, thank you for coming. You're welcome. You look stunning. How pretty is she, you guys? I'm a mom. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a hot ass mom. Mm -hmm. A milf. I'm a milf. A mother everyone would like to fuck, so a milf. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that one before, it was new. Um, okay, so you were on season 10. Yes, Atlanta. I just watched uh, last night, I watched your highlight reels all on YouTube. Oh, Lord so God. everyone's best moments of you. Oh, great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, the second replacement of my season. Yeah, which is crazy because your personality shined throughout that season, so it's weird that they didn't pick you as a original. I know why they did that. Why? Because they knew I was going to make all the bitches mad. That's did you why. stay to the end? Yeah, I kicked like three of them off. Like, bye, bitch, go home. So who, who did you, who, well, first of all, let's talk about your fight about okay. the hot pocket really quick with Jen, because oh was there an actual deeper beef there, or was it just over a hot pocket? It was over a hot pocket. Okay, listen, okay. I'm really embarrassed about it, you know. I wish I could, like, not have took a bite, but it was just one fight. Um, so that day, I think it was my first night in the house. It was my first night in the house. They were, like, so excited for me. They had a whole platter of shots, and I should have known better. That, you took all the shots? That they had all water shots and I didn't. And like, they're like, come on, let's go. Like, let's bad girls club. I'm like, fuck it. Like, I can't be no punk. Like, I could hang. So I took like, I don't know, like seven shots. Oh my God. And mind you, I didn't eat. Like, for, I was in the hotel room for Yeah, and they don't feed you. They bring you Cheetos. I had like popcorn, bitch. And I'm like, I was so hungry. And like, I drank all that alcohol. And they wanted, they said they did that because they wanted to see me like do something stupid. And that's the stupidest thing I did was I took a bite. But I made her a brand new one afterwards. You know, I don't mind if someone takes a bite of my food as long as they ask me before. I know, I should have asked, but she, but she all left that, it in All that day, it seems like it seemed like a day after a day after a day in the footage mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. just beefing over a hot pocket. Yeah. It sounds so dumb when you say that loud. I know, I know. They should have endorsed me too. Though, <laughs> yeah. But what flavor was it? It was just regular pizza, pepperoni, and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I think it had like that that um, Parmesan crust on it. I'm not sure though, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. And um, they wanted to see me do something stupid and they got it. They were looking for it. They instigated it and it happened. So they just wanted something. So and that's what I did. She got kicked off because of your fight. Right. Who else did you get kicked off? Um, Alicia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Natalie got sent home on season 13. Right, we're gonna talk about that. Okay. Eventually. So season ten. Yeah. So that yeah, it was nuts. I'm like, am I really in this fucking situation? Like it was crazy. Did you love it or hate it? I don't know. I was just I honestly was I was so intimidated. Like I was in a house. You don't seem like you were intimidated at all. I was so intimidated, but I'm like, I ain't no punk, I ain't no punk. Like I got like five brothers, six brothers, and I'm like, I ain't no punk. Like Well it seemed like everyone wanted to fight with you. Yeah. Like from the clips. Yeah. You know, I was like, wow, everyone actually was just like, let's fuck with Rocky today. Right. I'm like, okay, let me see what time. Okay, let me just drink a beer first, then we can fuck with Rocky. So when you were sitting there, and Jen was just pouring drinks on you, and noodles, and whatever she could pick Soda, up. Soda. What were you thinking? Alcohol. Like, what was going through your mind in that moment? Okay, so, I, I remember it like yesterday. I was literally like sitting there, and I'm like, okay, I'm about to get in a fight. They want me to get sent home. That was the plan. You yeah, know? and back in the day, it used to be you throw the first hit, you go home. Right. So I'm like, they want me to go home. And I'm like, I'm not fucking going home. So I'm like, bitch, just like, keep your motherfucking cool. Don't let them get to you. You know what? Just brush it off, come with kindness. So I literally sat there and I'm like, okay, are you done yet? Like, are you done? Like, are you done throwing food on me? Are you done throwing drinks on me? And then she um, poured beer on me and I went like, Thank you, I love beer. Then she shoved like a can in your mouth. Yeah, after it, I was like, okay, bitch. And I threw it at her, she threw it at me back. It's like, why are you mad? You're fucking with me. And like, when I got up and I pushed her, if you see the clip, everybody in the house got up like, oh, like we're like, oh, Rocky got up and pushed her. We're gonna fight her now. Like, like they're gonna jump you. Basically. Yeah, and I was like, okay, these bitches are 
suck. They should learn from season eight. Don't jump. Right. <laughs> it's not a good luck. Right. So, um, yeah, it was just like, I wasn't going to let anybody send me home. Like, no. I wasn't going to let anybody make me mad. And my, like, strategy, like, in life was just to kill with kindness. And that's like kind of like what I did. I was like, I'm not gonna let them get me mad. I'm just gonna sit here. But all right, cool. You know? Yeah, you didn't seem intimidated at all. I, I you definitely held your own. I was. My heart was beating like a bitch. I was like, <gasps> like, oh my god, like, what the fuck? Like, am I really here? Like, dealing with this shit? Like, real life? Like, this is really happening to me because it's it's not like the real life. You know? No, it's not so at all. It was intimidating because like I didn't have no friends. I was my third day in the house at that time when the food thing happened. Do third you ever have friends in the back of some house though? I have Shannon. Yeah, that's a question. And Jada. Yeah. Oh, Jada. Yeah, Jada's my friend too. Oh yeah, you guys love each other. <laughs> Actually, it's been so long. I just, I mean, when I look back, like I just did a reaction video on YouTube to Bad Girls Club 13 and I look like a psychopath when I heel hit my eyebrow. But I was also It wasn't years. meant for you either. Yeah. I, was, I just, felt so bad. I did feel bad for you because it was not meant for you. I was also blackout drunk. Like, they like zoomed in on my face and people DM me that clip all the time. I'm like, okay guys, I fucking get it. I'm pretty sure she feels bad too. Cause I'm pretty sure she says that. I mean, it's been like six years. I don't really care anymore. Right. It's, it's old. I, I'm cool with everybody. Honestly. Really? Okay. That's one of the questions people wanted to know. Like who did you, do you have any beef with anyone? Do you fight with anyone? Like a, have you and Jen shared a hot pocket? No, but we should. <laughs> yeah, we should. should. We should. Um, no, me and Jen are cool. Um, I honestly am cool with with anybody that like fucked with me, like I think they all apologized to me. Like, every single one of them. That's cool. Yeah, and I was like, it's all good. Like even Natalie. No. Okay. No, not her. But we're cool too. Like I don't even. I went to her baby shower. Like it's whatever. Like fuck all the other. Was her like, baby shower after Bagos Club 13? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She wasn't. She was a mom. Yeah. Yeah. No one was a mom yet, right? No one was a mom yet. Yeah, I went and you know I showed love. I'm like I don't have no hard feelings towards anybody. Yeah. It was just some shit. When you're in front of the fucking camera, like people don't know how to act. They don't know what to do. They want to be cool and like popular. So people act crazy, not really knowing like you look crazy and nobody's gonna like you or, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and also I feel like when you put so many strong personalities for females in a house, it's, it's not even maybe that they're like putting on or they want to be like the star of the show. It's just at some point when someone's eating their fucking breakfast in front of you, you're like, I can really hear you chewing and I'm going to murder you. <laughs> yeah. So please stop eating. Your underwear were showing in the club and I was so embarrassed. Like you made us look ratchet. That we're was that die. happened to you, right? Not to me with Shannon's underwear, but I was like, bitch, I don't know the fuck. Like, so you and Shannon, so one of your real friends outside of the house would be Shannon. Shannon, Shannon and then Jada. I mean Shannon was my number one because yeah. she had their show together. And people are always like how are you and Shannon friends? She didn't stick up for you. And I'm like, my thing is, not everybody is a fighter. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't make somebody be a fighter. This yeah. not, does not mean that they don't love you. They don't like have your back. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they're still your friend. They're just, that's not them. Like, yeah. it's not them. So when people would try to make me turn on Shannon, I'm like, I wouldn't because just because she doesn't want to fight doesn't mean that she's not my friend. I'll handle my own shit. Y'all right. could jump me all you want. Like, if it takes more than one bitch to fight me, then y'all y'all really look weak as fuck. Did so, people jump you, actually, on the show? Yeah, I got jumped, um, I think twice. It's not a good feeling. No, it's not. And I thought Valentine was, like, cool with me at one point because she, like, helped me in the limo. Like, she blocked me from Jen, but then ended up jumping me, like, when we got home. So. That doesn't make any sense. I got jumped, jumped by three bitches. It was Alicia, Valentina, and Nancy. I'm like, why me? <laughs> I just want to drink fucking hot beer. Hot over a hot pocket. No, it was because I was laughing. She was like, I mean, yeah, no, I will say your laugh can piss <laughs> motherfuckers off though. Because I remember one time I was drunk and you were hanging out with Julie. You remember that? No. When we were at like this bar, this random bar, and you were laughing. I was like, Rocky, what the fuck are you laughing at? And you're like, I'm just laughing. I was like, yeah, okay, then. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm a friendship face. We all were. It was yeah, bad. yeah. No, I was. Um, I guess I was laughing behind somebody's back, or I was laughing at somebody. It was just a lie. Like, it was just stupid. I'm like, what the fuck? A bitch can't laugh. I know. I didn't even laugh in front of you. I laughed, I guess, behind her back. Like, why would it matter? Do you but, think? Do you think that bad girls club deserve to be canceled? It's a good um, question. You're sitting on that answer. I don't know. Not really. They need to bring it back. That was the shit. That was the fucking shit. That was my shit, girl. Like, I love that show. 
I love the show. My brothers put me on. They used to watch it. My mom would be like, turn that shit off. Well, my first season it. that I ever watched was season four. I watched seven, eight, and nine. And then mm -hmm. mine was ten. Yeah. Yeah. Mine Isn't was that seven. Funny? Mine was Judy season. That's why I love Judy so much. I'm like, oh my god. Are you cool, Judy? Yeah, we're cool. She's yeah, just should. beefing with Gabby right now. Aww. Randomly. Gabby's she like, why why is she like it's been years. Why are we having a bag of stuff Yeah, and then we'll talk about season thirteen when it comes because it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, that's, that was enough that was a hot question. That was as well. honestly that was like a they never should have done that. Or they should have picked different people or they should have made it something else because that show was just it was stupid. It, it should have so been better stupid. than what it was, but it yeah. was also really bad casting. Yeah. I, I mean for my all star cast, not that you know, I, sh I should or you should pick the cast. But I just feel like if you're gonna have an all-star season, it just was a random weird cast. It was. It was very random. Yeah, and then, then they had us doing like acrobats. They weren't getting good footage. They had us going to a therapist, which I guess is cool. Like, I don't know, but it just, it didn't work out because people liked the ratchet drama. Yeah, and at that point, we've, all, we've already like had a taste of what it's like being on TV, so I don't feel like we were truly ourselves no. on that show. Oh, I was. I mean, I let shit get to me. Really? Like before, like, okay, season 10, I was like, I don't care, like, kill with kindness. Season 13, I'm fucking done. Like, quit fucking with me. That was my, that was me on mm. season 13, so I was just over it, you know? Yeah. Fucking, so I felt like I had more cool before Bad Girls left. I mean, I have it now, I'm not older, but um, on season 13, like, I was just so over people fucking with me that I acted out, like, in ways that I wouldn't have before. I don't think you were that bad on 13. I wasn't, but, like, people were like, oh, you bullied Sarah. Well, Sarah was fucking up my makeup. Yeah, uh, let's talk about that really quick, because people wanted to know that. I And, and I lived with you yeah. on 13, and yeah. I still, to this day, can't sit down and actually pinpoint what the fuck happened between you and Sarah. And another question that people always ask me, and I'm sure they ask you too, did Sarah and Jada fight in a closet? Because I don't fucking know. Um, I think they did, right? And they just didn't air it. It was really quick. I think it was, I don't think they, they didn't fist fight. It was, so. no, it was right after we went to go get like gems and like stuff to do those posters for that charity I think event. they like pushed each, it was nothing. It was, it was nothing, it didn't yeah. even get aired. Yeah, it was more of like an argument. I think Sarah walked away though, I don't think. I don't know, man. No. It was so petty. That was like the pettiest. I was like on the stairs, like, what happened? Right, and everybody was. Ugh. I hated that season. That was. It was boring. It was so boring. It was. It wasn't like I like a little bit of drama, and I just feel like the drama was very minuscule for filming for as long as we filmed. I'm like, this is not. This is not gonna be good footage. It was new. It was yeah. really good. It, I feel like that was like one of the worst seasons they've had. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. sucks. And just because we were like, on it. <laughs> I feel like we jinxed it, right? I mean, it would have just been different. Like, just the cast, like you said, was just not. Was Who would not have been it. your all-star cast? Oh god, I can't think like that. Like, Go ahead, girl. Oh my god. Okay. Just off the top of your head, you're gonna miss a few. She apologizes in advance. Okay, so from my scenes that I watched, to be honest with you, I loved Junior Sister, like on season seven, Las Vegas, so, yep. and I loved eight it. season oh, eight. Oh my god, eight. Sorry, that was Judy. I liked Judy on seven, mm -hmm. and then you guys were on eight in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing you guys as like, um, like the previews and shit, mm -hmm. and you were like eating like Chipotle or something. Like, are you guys done? Because I'm hungry or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, I love this. <laughs> um, I liked Camila too. Yeah. Um, on your season, I originally did this podcast with her. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know about her. I think she's beautiful, but like she has bad attitude. Um, <laughs> fucking okay. So it would let's say just like from now, like let's pretend I wasn't on the show. Right. Okay. So it would have been Judy. It would have been you and your sister Camila. I liked Elise too, which is nuts because I don't like her anymore. Do you know her? Oh, you were on oh, All Star. Oh, no. I guess I'm from the first fucking day, girl. Oh fuck. I was like, and I was like, just get me fucking out of here. I didn't even go to the reunion. They tried to sue me over that. Really? I'm like, yes, yeah, sue oh. me, dude. I'm not coming for a fucking one episode to sit here and talk about, listen to other bitches talk. Right. right. Okay, and then other ones. Um, I don't think I liked anybody from season um, nine? 11. Nine? Wait, nine. I forgot nine. Nine's Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Um, I did like Rima. And I did like Megan on there too. Yeah, I th I think Megan should be on an all-star cast. Yeah, I think she should have been on an yeah. all-star cast, yeah. And then, um, that's it, that's seven. I'm done. I don't think I liked anybody from like 11. What about like the beginning seasons? Like one through five? I didn't really watch those. 
Really? I didn't watch those. I was like, no. Season okay. five was really good. Who that was, was like when the violence started. I was like, this shit's crazy. I remember Ripsy's psychopath ass. I did watch. Which that one's one. Ripsy? I think she's on the first one. I didn't she watch. Was I, really crazy. I know, the only thing I know about Tanisha on the first one is like the clips that everybody posts, but I never watched season one. Yeah, I think I kind of like went through. Like I think I started like at seven. I think that's like when I really started watching it. But yeah, that's my cast. Did you include? You didn't include yourself, girl. Oh. And me. <laughs> <laughs> and me. <laughs> Who would my cast be? Definitely you, um, Megan, uh, Natalie. Um, I don't know, like, because it's like the when I did Bad Girls Club, social media didn't exist. Now, like, all the most popular Bad Girls. It's just like it's because they were from further seasons, but right. I didn't actually like I don't really like know them that well And it was popping like after like I feel like after my season I think right Insta after 10 Instagram, Maybe even right after 11. Yeah, that's when Instagram started being popping pop so those those um, newer girls got like really like mm -hmm. a lot of followers Like instantly. Shit. Yeah, I'm like, I, went up, I went up like a hundred thousand followers one night like when my first episode aired I was like, holy shit. Isn't that weird? Shit. Yeah, because I had like 158 followers, like literally before Bad Girls Club. Because <laughs> it, it just, Instagram just happened. Just started. And I couldn't keep followers for shit. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Like, mm -hmm. I think I'm cute. Like, why isn't anybody following me? And yeah, and it just changed overnight. And then now social media is like, basically like, whatever your followers are or how cool you are. Which is ridiculous. I had some dude, like straight up a man say, yeah, fuck this bitch. She had 100,000 followers. I'm like, what does her fucking followers have to do with you fucking? I'm so confused. That's so disgusting. I mean, they feel like they feel like they're cool. They feel like, oh my god, this bitch got but some they're... motherfucking followers. Like, I must be a cool ass dude for fucking with her. That's what I would think. But in real life, like, followers don't matter. At all. You can be like such a shitty fucking person and have like 5 million followers, you know? I've seen people that have millions of followers. And they're great online. Like their content online is great. You meet them in person, they can't even like sit through an entire conversation. I'm right. like, how the fuck right. do five million motherfuckers follow your ass? Right. You have no. You're like drier than a soap dish. Right. right. Their perception of reality is is different. Yeah. It's different. Like you could see me online and think whatever you want of mm -hmm. me, but in real life, like that's not true. Yeah. Like I do try to show like good things online yeah. people do want to see that but in real life like we all have the same issues we all have mm -hmm. things that we need to work on and i don't fucking know like people, people like to make up your story and tell it for you yeah and tell me who i am and what i do and all mm -hmm. the shit and i'm like did you hear what rocky did last week at 7 p.m on thursday night i'll tell you never even met you before in your life I was drinking a beer. <laughs> Literally last week on Thursday. Because I, <laughs> I went home at nine. Yeah. I had a sober app and I was like, all right. Why are you going out during quarantine that people want to know? Because I'm not scared. Like, God's got me. Like, I, I, I'm i fine. Like, I'm good. I, I was I like sitting in my kitchen on my podcast. It's the same shit. I usually wear a mask and I'm not really worried about it. I think yeah. there's a lot of bullshit going on. I mean, I understand people are getting sick. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think a lot of people died from coronavirus. They just put it. If you go, could just go, go Google the shit. Like people, they're lying. The doctors are lying. Oh. And they're getting paid to put Corona, like COVID nineteen, on death certificates. They're getting paid like, like thirteen grand. And then every ventilator they use on somebody, they get paid 33 grand. Like, it's, it's some scamming shit. It's, it's fucked up. I swear to God, go look it up. I'm not, I'm not even lying. Yeah, I mean, the whole world is kind of weird right now. Like, I went to grocery stores and, like, people are masks and in gloves. And, like, no one's, like, communicating anymore. And, like, I'm still friendly under my mask. I'm like, how are you? Right. People are like, how, why is she speaking to me? I'm like, what the fuck? I miss people. Right. It's weird, right? Yeah. It's so weird. I mean, I like going to the grocery store with a mask on because nobody knows who the fuck I am. Yeah. So I'm like, yes, I can look. Back. I can tell by your eyes, girl. I so yeah, I would recognize you by your eyes. Actually, if you spoke, if you were three aisles down from me at CVS, I'd be like, mm, is that Rocky? I've had people like before the whole fucking coronavirus. I was like in one aisle and they were on the other one. They're like, I heard you, your voice, and I had to just look to see if it was you, and it was you. I'm like. Damn, am I like really that like distinct? <laughs> I've gotten that too like twice at CBS. I'm like, my voice. Right. <laughs> Fuck. I know, but I do like wearing masks because I have like some privacy. When do you think this is gonna be over? It's never gonna be over. I'm just kidding. 
I don't know. I don't know. That's what people keep saying, and I'm like, what do you mean? The economy's fucked. So, like, honestly, online, it's like where the money's at. Well, you were, back in Vegas, you were working in the club, right? Right. I was bartending. So, what the fuck are you doing right now? I ain't doing shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am. I actually do have a show that I'm, I'm working mm. on. So that's one thing I'm doing, but I've just been focusing on my, my daughter yeah. and myself because like I'll never get this free time again. So never. I'm really just taking it in and I'm just enjoying it. Before I was like freaking out, I'm like, oh my god, like what am I gonna do? But I'm okay. I'm, right. I'm doing fine. Like I'm not worried about shit. But you know. Um, but when you work in a club, do they protect you at all for like instances like this or like for instance, are they like? helping any of their employees like with an unemployment check or um yeah we get unemployment okay at least you get that yeah no so i'm totally fine and like they give that extra six hundred dollars too i'm like thanks i'm still waiting on my stimulus check they haven't really? paid a bitch yet yeah and i'm waiting on my fucking taxes so i'm like waiting on i my, haven't filed mine yet i'm waiting on like 15 grand really fish file hello yeah but I just feel like everyone's filing right now. I should have done it like the first week. I did like mine back in like um, January. I'm like, I've been in California for almost four years. So crazy. Damn. Yeah. It just seems like you just moved out here. Yeah, because I was fucking desperate begging everyone to help me stay. Aww. Thank you everyone who helped. So look at you now. It, that's what I say. Nice. I go, that's, I, I did a video, I go, you know, some of the shit you do is so embarrassing. Like I never wanted to get on the internet. Right. I was so conceited my whole life. Put myself on a high horse and then I fucking have to sit, set my camera up. Actually, Gabby's camera because I couldn't afford one at the time. And be like, hey guys, can you pay my rent? Right. And then I'll, you know, a few people help. My family help. Girl, Got I have my shit back together. I'm eventually going to pay my, my, I owe Gabby about like 20 grand. And one day I'm just going to roll up and give her like 40. Right. You know what? Like, I've been there too. I've been, there's been times where I'm like, bitch, like, <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, people have this perception of us that we're like so. And we got rich. millions of dollars from Bad Girls Club and endorsements mm. and club appearances. <clears throat> not. Yeah. Not. They got rich off of us. That's it. That's it. They got rich off of, off of us, and we got paid like chump change. And they're still getting rich. You know how I know? Because if I do a reaction video, so like say your best moments. Mm -hmm. When I upload that, they file a copyright claim and they get the ads. Really? Off my video. Ooh. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers can't even let us have our YouTubes. Right. After extorting us. They did, dude. They really just like used us and like threw us they didn't the give us a, They didn't give a fuck. I think Bad Girls Club honestly ruined a lot of us. Like, I mean, after a while, you gotta kind of pick yourself up and like, you Be know, like, this is not how Like, I was that bitch before Bad Girls Club and I'm still that bitch. Period. Period. But like honestly, like that shit really took a toll on on a lot of us. Yeah. Oh, like in a negative way. Yeah. Yeah. Like. And then it's like hard to get like another gig because you're associated with Bad Girls oh, Club. Oh yeah, girl. Doors are being shut instead of open. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, is you're it? on Bad Girls Club. We don't want that. Yeah. Oh, you fight your drama. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. And it's like. But that's that's what every TV network should want. Right. They Hence why that show was popular. You just want people to. I, I might could bring people. Like I'm not gonna fight. Like I worked in Miami at this um this nightclub out there they hired, how was that it was dope they hired me no fucking problem they're like yep we want you i'm like yes thank god i didn't did really, you live in miami yeah i live in fort lauderdale remember i worked for dr miami yeah let's talk about that really quick i don't like them first of all botch my ass <laughs> so bad fuck you dr miami I think he was more focused on like being entertaining on his snap yeah. than he was on like giving me the body i asked for right um, I know, like, I don't want to talk bad about him, but I know a lot of people have had complications. Um, I... We know. all went to him because of you. You were working there, we're like, let's go, okay. bet, Can let's I go, please? Rocky. Let's talk about that, okay. <laughs> so, Paula got hers done first. Paula who? Paula, for my season. She got her, she got her ass done? No, her boobs, Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Her boobs, um, and the, I think that's, no, no, it was a Jen. Somebody got theirs done first, and that's how I found. I thought it was Rima, because Rima had complications during hers. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure, but I remember I was living out in Miami, and I found him, and like I wanted shit done because mm -hmm. I was so fucking tired of them calling me GI Joe. Like I've never there. heard anything. Yeah, like, like bitch, you're not a Barbie GI Joe. You're like a fucking dude. You're so you have no body, and I'm like, 
people are so fucking awful and mean and disgusting and it's just like it, it's a reflection of themselves right but even in my dresses i'm like bitch you're not that cute so like i wanted <laughs> to get like my face has always been cool but like I, I did want stuff done. Yeah. I never planned on getting boobs, but he was like, "Are your boobs done?" Yeah, he did my boobs too. They, your boobs look good. Thank you. Yeah. So I was like, "Fuck it!" Like, and when I met Doctor Miami, he had like eight thousand followers. Like, let's keep it real. Yeah. So um, you know, they're like, "Oh, we'd love for you to work for us." Sure. Like, and then, like mm-hmm. you know, be like, I'm like their endorser or whatever, and like I posted for him all the time, and I got a fat ass discount on my own surgery. But you didn't even get the surgery for free. No. <laughs> no. Did you, bitch? No. Okay, I was like, wait. No, <laughs> I was like, definitely not. Jealous. We definitely paid. Yeah, so um, I got a fat ass discount on that, and I worked for him for quite some time, mm-hmm. and like he just blew up. Everybody, all this, all the reality stars were going to him. Everybody went to him, and it's like once he like got up there, he got his blue check, he got like super popular. He was like, all right, bye, Raquel, like bye, Rocky, like we don't need you anymore. And I'm like, like fired you? Yeah, they're like we're gonna let you go. Like you know, I'm like okay, thank you. You guys literally just used me for popularity because nobody knew who the fuck he was. Yeah, like literally every single. I feel like every single bad girl that went to him was because of you. Yeah, even even all the other reality stars like on MTV and, and um, VH1 and BET, like all of them. Yeah, like we all knew him because of you. Yeah, even like Inks, um, Black Ink Crew, um, Sky got hers done. I was on that episode because I was working there. Like. Yeah. Oh, he had a show. No, um, Black Ink. Oh, but he got a show though too. They did. And do you see him anymore? No. no I don't think so. It was like on Wii. Yeah. I never watched it. I do like the girls there though, but him as a person, like he's not who he is online. Perception. That's how it is all the time. People are like this all the time. They put on fronts and acts, and then you like sit down with them and they like, try to have a conversation. I mean, I'm still funny though. Like I'm still me. Like yeah. I'm me. Like. I don't give a fuck like what I'm doing. Like mm-hmm. I'm always gonna be myself. But some people are just like it's yeah, because a lot of people are actors. Yeah. We're not actors. We're reality TV personals, which means real. People, yeah. TV. Yeah, exactly. People but, ask all the time, "Is it fake?" I'm like, no, but they can slightly instigate stuff. But mm-hmm. and they can edit it however they want. I could be talking about you, and they'll post it about Jane. And they'll look like some at somebody else. Like you weren't talking to that person, but they make it look like it. Yeah. It's so crazy. I'm like, mm, that's definitely not how that went down yeah, at all. But yeah. there's like nothing you can do about right, it. Right. Right. Um, so have you ever gone into a fight outside of Bad Girls Club, like an actual fist fight? Before Bad Girls Club or after? Before or after? Before, yes. Really? The yeah. only streets fighting? No, bitch. I was like in high school fighting though. Like, I got in some fights, um, I don't know, maybe like three, four in high school and then like maybe like three or four after high school, before Bad Girls Club. But after Bad Girls Club, bitch, no. I have not gotten in a fight, like at all. Like it's, it's. Like, I'm not even about that. Like, I'm not even a fighter, but if someone tries to fight me, I'm gonna fucking fight back. If someone tries to fight me, I'm just like, get it all the way. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Are you done yet? Because <laughs> I have something else not Chipotle. I haven't eaten Chipotle since then. Literally. Oh my god. Yeah, I haven't gotten a fight since. Um, but, I mean, whatever. Yeah, it's not worth it. Like, is anyone really worth, like, putting hands on? I, I'm Maybe not, if they fuck with your daughter. Yeah, I'm not trying to go to jail. Yeah. Bitch, like, I have a kid. A yeah, whole, whole entire child. A like, whole ass kid. What the fuck do I look like going to jail for fighting? Because I let somebody, like, bother me. Yeah, that wouldn't be... I mean, self-defense is self-defense. Yeah. Always. I'm, I'm, I'm so for a self-defense, but I would never go instigate or hit somebody first. You can say what the fuck you want. Yeah, because nothing's worth it. You can talk about my kid. You can do what the fuck you want. Like, I'm not going to fight you for it. Good for you. Go ahead. I know my daughter's beautiful. She's fucking great. Her daughter's eyes are the... I just want to, like, <laughs> put them on my eyes. Oh, I know. She's Cute, thanks. Does he have light eyes? Well, you kind of have light eyes. Um, her dad has um, brown eyes, but they're not like like your eyes are dark. His are like kind of like a lighter brown, and my eyes are like light brown too. Yeah, they're like almost hazily. Sometimes kinda. it just depends. Yeah, because yeah, they kind of look like really light. Right yeah, now. my um, my mom has green eyes because mm. my mom's white. Because I'm white, you know. You know, Instagram told me like a few days people ago. People don't think you're white. No, a few days ago people said I'm white. I'm not brown. Like, I'm just white. And I'm like, okay, I'm whitewashed. Okay, there's a difference. But when I grew up, I grew up in a small country-ass town. Mm-hmm. And everybody there was, like, white as shit. And I was called black girl. So I grew up feeling... Why? Because I was the only colored person there. Like, What's your nationality? I am Portuguese, Italian, and Puerto Rican, Japanese. Wow, that's a 
crazy mix. Yeah, but I did that mouth swab and it says I'm hella other shit. Oh, you did like Ancestry.com? Um, yeah, it was like... Uh, so you signed the paperwork that says that they could own, they own your DNA now. And basically, <gasps> if your DNA is at a crime scene, they probably put it there. Oh my god, well they paid me to post it. They paid me really good money to like do a promo. I was like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, now they have your DNA, bitch. Well, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. What, I can't go against the government. They can do the fuck we want. What they want. They can kill us and it's okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever. I'm still living, but um, I, yeah, so I grew up, I grew up in a really small town and like white people was all it was. So if you were like a Mexican or a Puerto Rican, there's like a couple black people. So I was like black girl. They called me like big lips, um, the N word, brownie. They called you big lips because their lips are probably like, yeah, big like, lip. they have like <laughs> nothing there. Right. Like they're like blue eyes, yeah. blonde hair, everybody. I'm like, okay. And I remember like when I was like five years old, I used to like go home and cry hmm. like in first grade. And I used to be like, mom, I want to be white like you. So I grew up feeling like I was the black person. Yeah. And then I moved to a city and they're like, bitch, you ain't black, you white. And I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck like, am yeah. I? Yeah. That's the that's thing. Like, I feel like people try so hard to like just have like one label. We don't have yeah. to be one label. Right. I'm, I'm so many things. Same. And same. It, it's whatever. I don't want to get into race because I know. we can go all fucking All time. day. Like if uh -huh. I say I'm black, people are like you're not black. And I'm like, okay, I'm white. They're like, well, you're not white. I'm like, so then what the fuck am I? Right. You know? Right. But it's just like, it's not like, no matter how many times you have that conversation, that conversation is never going to be over. Yeah. You're never going to win. No. So I'd rather just not be good. Yeah. So, yeah. Next. So your father passed away during the filming of uh, All Star Battle One. One, yes. People want to know how it was going through something that traumatic during filming. Um, you left and you came back, right? No, I left. Oh, and you never came back. I never came back. Why do I feel like I, you were I, there? I did, I did um, All Star Battle Two. Mm. I did the reunion though. Um, the reunion was like. I know, me and Shannon came as rock stars. We're like, fuck, we're so fucked up. We bought like chains and crazy <laughs> outfits. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Um, so that was my stepdad, okay? Yeah. So my real dad is it's alive. And yeah, he's in prison. Um, he's getting out in like five months. Basically. What was it? What's he in prison for? Um, so in California, there's a three, rec uh, three yep. strike rule. So and then you go to jail. Three felonies, you get automatic 25 to life. So, uh, That's crazy and kind of unfair, honestly. I know, because he wasn't a violent person, never hurt anybody. He was just on fucking drugs and he robbed banks and shit, you know. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> I was like, well, is there like a stash? Like, can I, can you let me know where it's at? <laughs> right. I need some bread. Yeah, legit. Where is it, Pop? Yeah, so that, so that was my real dad. So my stepdad that passed away, mm -hmm. he was like my dad, because my dad was never really there. Um, so when that happened, like, I was just so shocked and I was so, so angry because production knew my mom was calling for like eight hours that's fine and they up. didn't they didn't let me have that phone call until they were done filming for the day so and i was trashed by and that. then they filmed you yeah and they had it all the set call. up they had it all set up and i was just so angry um it was hard it was really hard because after that people would always tag me in the post or send it to me or i'm so sorry and like for a while, like, it hurt me so much, you right. know, because I had to rewatch it. I can go Google it right now, and, like, I'll just cry all over again, you right. know? But, um, you know, he was a really great guy, and I'm just happy that I even had him as a dad, honestly. Mm. I wish I could meet somebody like him. He was great. Right. Yeah, but... Good people are hard to come by these, this so, time. Yeah, sometimes it's just, like, you know, like, death is death. Like, we all go through it. We're all going to get there one day, and you just have to accept it and just make peace with it somehow and just love those those people that, that are gone. Yeah. That's all I can really say. Because I, I was sad for hella long, but... I can imagine. Um, he was in pain, you know? Yeah. So, he's cool now. He's in... Cool. Yeah, that's what I think. Because, yeah. like, grandmother, I get selfish. So, I'm like, I wish it could have lasted, like, five or six more years. But she was in so much pain. You just gotta right. think, okay, at least they're not in pain anymore, you know? Right, and I used to be like, damn, like, I still needed you. Like... <laughs> I really needed your talk and yeah. like your advice. Like, or like your hugs or like your, you know, just he cared, whatever. He cared yeah. about me so much. Like my mom would like, be like, you need to stop fucking drinking. And he would go to the store and buy me a 40. And he'd come in the house and he'd be like, it's in the, it's, in, it's behind the house. And I'm like, yes, thanks. <laughs> like he was, he was my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom hated it. But like he, he knew what I was going through, you know, yeah. and he was just there for me. I, I never even had to say anything. He just would just know, you know. But um, my advice would just, to just cherish those people that you loved and like just try to make peace with it it's yeah. so sad but 
you have to move on. Yeah, you have no choice but to. You just you have literally no choice. Right. And it's okay to cry. You can yeah. cry. If you wanna to listen to a song that was his favorite song, that's totally fucking cool. Cry. Yeah. Like if I feel like I need to cry it out, I'm gonna cry. I don't think there's out. anything wrong with crying. Right. Let's cry. Not right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna mess up. Yeah. That. <laughs> okay, um, so then you saw your real dad, he's getting out. So are you guys still cool? Oh yeah. Um honestly <laughs> Season 13, I went, remember I went mm -hmm. and seen him, like, mm -hmm. and I was like, hey dad, I'm gay. First of all, your hair got so long. I know. Let's talk about that for a second. Look at it. On 13, you blonde. had a buzz cut. I know, bitch, I had like a zero. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what was I doing? <laughs> Like what the fuck was I doing? Like literally, you uh, you were kicking ass at the time. You thought uh, that was uh, that was the look, and you just you know you you rocked it. My hair was so fucked up from um, Bad Girls Club because I got it done and like they ruined it and my shit was falling out. Oh, blonde. Yeah, my yeah. shit was falling the fuck out. Like like mullet like in the back. Like, it was like I was like oh my god, and I, I had to cut it. So then after that, I just kind of went like a little crazy with it. So I'm like just fucking shave it. But um, but it's so long now. I know it's so long now because I had a kid, and, oh, I, and right. I and I take care of my hair now. Do you do do you still take prenatals? No, bitch. But mm -hmm. I take my vitamins. I take hella vitamins actually. Do you believe in vitamins? I do. Like so, when you have your period and you take like your cramps are really bad, you'll take mydol. Uh uh, I just fucking deal with it. Really? Yeah. Okay, what if you have a headache? You'll take Tylenol. No, I just fucking deal with it. So you just take vitamins? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe in like ibuprofen and shit. I see. If I think it's like a placebo. A, if you have like a Vicodin, like I believe in that. But I don't even like those <laughs> because they make me sick. Yeah. Vicodin, I think I've taken once after. I think after this the, the surgery. Yeah, after the surgery, mm -hmm. and it just gave me this nasty. It makes you feel awful. Itchy. Taste in your mouth. I'm like. Yeah. What I, is that? I'm not honestly like I'm not a fan of pills. I, if I don't have to take something, I won't take it. But vitamins, I believe in vitamins because like a lot of things I take like turmeric and I take garlic. Turmeric's good. Yeah, I take like um. Does garlic mean you like have stinky breath sometimes though? Okay, the other day I was hella hungover, right? And I took all my vitamins and I took fish oil vitamins and I like burped and I just smelled like fish and garlic and I actually ended up throwing up. But ew. Yeah, but if you, <laughs> if you take the pill like the one with the oil on the inside, no, it doesn't. You don't smell garlic, but. Those are the ones that are like the ones like the white powdery Powder ones. ones. Yeah, those are awful. You'll definitely like smell like garlic, but. Like what if you had a date and just like you had to cancel because you remember you took a garlic pill? Bitch, no. I don't go on dates. That's going to change. I hope so. Cause... Sign up for Raya. A what? Raya. What's Raya? It's a dating app for people that are in the entertainment business. I've been waitlisted for two years. No shit. Mm -hmm. No. Like everyone, you have to be approved to get on the app. Like you can't just be on the app. Will we get approved? We have blue check. I have a blue check and I've been waitlisted for two years. That's a bullshit. I think they only really like like white people. Oh, they're gonna Class love me. Class action. They're gonna love me. Just kidding. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, what we're talking about? My dad, whatever. Yeah, if you guys are cool. Oh yeah, we're cool. He gets out in like five months. I think he might be there for my thirtieth birthday. What are you gonna do? Cause it's quarantine. I'm gonna give him a beer. He's like all like religious. I'm like, Dad, you're drinking a fucking religious. Jail, oh, because of jail. Yeah. Has he been in there for yeah. 25? No, he did. It will be almost 17 years. That's 17 years of my life. 17 years is a long ass that's, time in lockup. Bro. That's more than half of my life. You know. That's, let's talk about him for a second. That's a long time for him. I know, but he's so positive. And like he writes me letters and like they're always so beautiful and they always make me cry because he thinks I'm so wonderful. He's like, you're such a beautiful daughter and I'm so proud of you for being positive and like always trying to like do something with my life. Like he is a great person. I can't wait for him to get out because I mean, I got his back. Yeah. Like I'll make sure he's cool. Like whatever I got to do, like I'll take care of my dad. That's nice yeah. of you. Yeah. He, he just fucking did drugs. Does he still touch your mom? Don't do drugs guys. Yeah, it will don't. ruin your fucking life. Literally. If he could take it back, he would take it back. Like drugs, they don't, they make you not care. And it's so addicting. I feel, I, I feel like I see people do drugs all the time and they're just like, wow. They're yeah. like really into they're, they're in their own life. Like if there's so many worlds out there in the world, we're in the same world. Right. Sorry. I don't care. We're in the same world, but like there's so many different worlds out yeah. there and people live in like some crazy ass worlds. And, and, like, and after a while, I feel like drugs start to fuck with people's brains. Mm -hmm. So like the, the reality they have outside real. of be like outside of being sober is not the actual reality that they're living in so when they start talking to people it's like what the fuck is this person talking about right they're right. making zero sense right it's weird it's girl. so scary stay off drugs guys mm -hmm. stay off drugs so hate to go back to bad girls club but i have to get this 
question asked because people wanted to know. Okay. What was that fight between you, Natalie, and then Red jumped in and bit a chunk of her arm out? Mm, um, like, what was the actual details about that? You know like, what? Like, come closer to you. Like, me and Natalie were friends. Yeah. Like, before that. So, like, being on the TV show, it was just so different. And, like, it was it okay. Is. Like, I was like, whatever. Like, she can do whatever she wants. Like, we were cool outside of this. And, like, now we're, like, really not. Um, I'm not a follower. Mm -hmm. And um, I think everybody knows that. Like, I'll just do my own thing. But um, my stepmom called the show and she knows natalie she knows natalie's mom they grew up together oh and she actually used to babysit natalie when she was a little kid so oh she knows God. she knows natalie so this is a small ass fucking world i know it's so weird so um when she answered the phone she said something like oh this is yvonne or like whatever and like i heard that and i was like give me the phone and like she was like nah and then she like cracked me over the head with it and yeah, and then we just like kind of talked. What? I don't know. That was rare. I, I think just because like at that point like she's like you know like she had like the biggest name I feel like for out of all the bad girls, Natalie and like Tanisha. Well, Tanisha was a host. Dream now, but um, you know I just felt like she didn't want to be like tested or and we to fuck with her, and I kind of like did that you know like by like stepping up to her, and then we just ended up fighting, and then I don't know why Red jumped in, but she did. And I feel awful because fighting is like that's and that that bite was gnarly as fuck. Yeah, and I got bit before it too, and that shit hurts. How you have to get a tetanus shot. I didn't. Oh fuck. I don't. I think you're good now. Okay. <laughs> it was like a year ago. Or something, but... Oh my god, maybe you're not good. Oh you could god. have tetanus right now. No, I'm, I think I'm great. I'm First growing. of all, why did someone bite you? I don't want to get into it <laughs> because they couldn't like get me out of my little like headlock or whatever. It was really bad. Yeah, what the, if somebody bit me, I'd like... Do I taste that good, bitch? <laughs> like, Do you want what? some sriracha on that shit? Yeah, yeah. like, if, after they bite you, like, what's the reaction? You just stare at each other, like... No, like, they run away, and it's like, okay. So you bite me, and then you run away, like, a little bitch. Yeah. Mm -mm. People bite, it's just... <laughs> pull hair, bite, whatever, I don't know. I'd rather just, like, not bite. Me too. I'd rather, like, that's it. I'll talk shit to the day I die. I will, I will talk some shit too. All to the day I die, girl. <laughs> we all know you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're like queen shit talker. Yeah, but the thing is, is like, half the time I don't even, like, give a shit to say it. But, like, if you keep poking the bear, right. some shit's gonna happen. So I just go for the jugular. I'm like, maybe if I say the meanest thing on the face of the planet, mm -hmm. they'll shut the fuck up. Right. Like, I, I don't follow the blog page for our show anymore because I felt like I was just on there all the time. Mm -hmm. engaging in toxicity right and i was like that's not even me like i'm like literally the nicest happiest person most of the time but being they, only, that, they only show the bad parts they only show the negativity they don't they don't show like when you fucking graduated from vet school or whatever they right. just show oh well Danny and rocky got into a fight after a podcast right but they, breaking news yeah <laughs> It's just negative as fuck. Yeah. It's so negative. And I was like, I don't need this. I'm like, out. I keep it really short. Like, I'll talk a little bit of shit, but, like, I don't have, like, the capacity to really, like, think about what to say and how to say it. Like, anyway, you're, like, the best person at comebacks. Like, I'm not good at it at all. Like, I read your shit, and I'm just like, damn, Danny has a fucking slick-ass mouth. Like, I don't have that capacity to even think that far. I'm like, I just, I can't. I can't argue. You're really good at the confessionals, though. People don't know what that is. I don't know what to call it to... To like people that haven't done reality shows, right? The green screens. Yeah, it's like an interview room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are those are fun. Yeah, but eight hours though, oh, and then they, get, they give you like one fucking tequila orange juice. I'm like, no, dude. You know what they would do when I would be in there? Um, well, for season ten, they you know how they read you back stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they'll read a whole like what happened that mm -hmm. day. Um, they would read me some of that. Oh, sorry, we weren't supposed to tell you that. That was for somebody else. Like, but they would read me all this shit that people were talking about me that I didn't know about. They're such pieces of shit. And I'll, and I like this. I'm like, good, good try, guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna go back in the house and fight these bitches because I found out some info. I'm that you gave like, me. Yeah, but that's. I think that's why they fuck with me so much because I didn't care. Like, yeah. I really didn't care for shit. I'm just like, can I just drink a damn beer and have fun? Like, but. Yeah, you yeah. always wanted to just have fun. It was hard to have fun. It no. was. Like, even our pool, it, there was sun for like two hours and then the fucking trees covered it. Yeah, that was... I didn't I'm like, like that. Think that, that house sucked. Sucked. So shitty. So dirty. Worst fucking house ever. Now that Bad Girls Club is done, for years now actually, um, do you get annoyed when people still bring it up? I mean, I used to. Same. But now I'm like, 
Dude, they fucking like the damn show, like, and they're just happy to see me. So. They love the show. It was such a popular show. It was the best show. Best then, reality show ever. And everyone keeps saying it's coming back. I'm like, NBC would never let that happen. I know. Someone just told me that the other day, and I'm like, it is? They've like, been saying that for I years. I didn't read that anywhere. But um, it doesn't really bother me anymore because some people just now watched it. Like, they watched it maybe, like, a month ago or a year ago. Like, they didn't watch it when it aired. Like, oh, especially, really? Especially, like, in the UK. Like, they don't have our station you know like right. they, they watch it later on in life so when you stumble upon like a, a like a series you know you're like, well, let me try this out you go through it and they're like oh my i just watched your show oh my i love you and i'm thinking like okay like dude that was That's hell years long ago. ago so um i don't mind um when people see me in public and they're like excited it's just like you know what i'm excited for them you know, like they're super excited. They want to take a picture and post it and be like, oh my God, you know, and I'm happy for them. And People always ask me, I'll like comment about like my grandmother like passing away. I'm not even kidding. Or like something serious. And they'll comment, but you jumped Elise. I'm like, these oh. motherfuckers like really need to let it go. Elise was so <laughs> I liked her. I thought she was like so pretty and shit. And like meeting her on like All Star Battle. Oh, you met her. That's right. She was such a bitch. She was a bitch on our She season. was such a Everyone, like, sucks. loves her, and I'm like, she was, like, a bitch. One day, um, we're, like, in line, like, for, we're, like, in line up for, like, I think, I don't know. It was all-star battle. I think we're doing, like, the but whole, was, like... Do you like that show? I mean, I like winning shit, bitch. I was like, but, you know... But, I mean, but did you like it? I hated it. I liked it. So you would do great on the challenge. Would you do the challenge? I would do the challenge, but they're fucking hating. I mean, I haven't, like, reached out or anything, but... No, but you know what it is, is they had bad girls come bad girls come on they had other bad girls come members on and right. i think it ruined it for like future bad girls really mm. not i don't i don't know if angela did a great job or a bad job but oh. i guess like like on the x on the beach her and janelle were fighting uh, i did i did watch um a few episodes on there mm -hmm. um but i didn't watch the whole season i watched like a, a few clips because i was supposed to be on one of those seasons yeah but I, they didn't. Honestly, I don't think I could do X on the beach because I'd be fucking scared who they would bring. Really? I would hope they would. They would bring, bring your baby daddy, girl. No, he ain't. Gonna... Have Rocky on season next. No. They need a, uh, they need an X on the beach for thirty year olds. They, I don't know. If they were gonna bring like Zuli or something, I would do it. But if they're gonna bring my baby daddy, let's talk about Zuli for a second. She had a transformation. She looks fucking good. Honestly, I can say this. I like Zuli. Yeah. Um. You know, um, she was a good person. I forgot you guys had a little thing. Like for two years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just happy for her because like she's really who she felt like on the inside. Yeah. Because like when I would see like pictures of her, like she had her long hair and she was sexy. She was great body. Like, yeah. She was, Always in shape. She was, and she never worked out. Like she was just hot. Like, yeah. And then like she went through that transformation of cutting her hair and then like I was looking at shit and like she's like posing like sexy and like girl outfits with her hair and I'm like that's not her. You yeah. Know? It just wasn't her and like she's finally who she is now and like I'm happy for her. Uh, him. She was by him. Oh really? Yeah. I'm happy for Zuli. I'm gonna say Zuli because that's easier for me. But I'm happy for her. Him. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Zuli. I love you. I'm happy for Zuli. She's like honestly be who you were meant to be. He just said she's like. <laughs> God. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm happy. We're not laughing at you, Zuli. It's just I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think people should just be who they are meant to be. Yeah. With and, no fucks given. And that's it. But it's hard. Tired. It's hard to do that in this world. Yeah. So, yeah. I think he looks great as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. Be you. So, if you could do another reality show, what would you want to do? <sighs> Sips. Sips. Beer. <laughs> I would, okay, I would do Survivor. Uh, you would do so good on that? Because honestly, like, I don't want to. Would you do The Bachelor? No, fuck that. I'm not going to compete with other bitches, like, the fuck? What if you got the top, like, two, and then you become The Bachelorette? But what if I lost? Yeah, that's a horrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, a bitch doesn't ever want to lose, and they you know? pay, And for a show that's making millions and millions of dollars, they don't pay motherfuckers. They don't pay, girl, we know. We're mm -hmm. victims of this shit. But ABC The Bachelor, they have money to pay people. And they don't though. No. People just want to be on TV. I want to be on TV. I didn't even care. I was like, I like the show. I want to go on it. And I did. And I'm like, oh, we get this much? Okay. Whatever. And like, it was awful. But Tanisha's season got thousands. 
Really? Yeah, and after that they were like, we can probably get away with paying them nothing. Because they just want to be on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people would do it for free if they if they could. If a girl could be like, I couldn't do it for free. I know, but I'm like, like, uh, let's, let's talk about this. So, if, okay, there was a girl, she wanted to be on TV so bad, and they were like, okay, well, we're not going to pay you. Do you still want to be on the show? I get, nine times out of ten, they would probably say yes. Yeah, I would, I have to agree with you. Yeah. And because, they would ruin it for everybody else. Right. And the problem with bad girl stuff is ourselves. Because all of us could never get past our egos to sit down and be like, bitches, no one's doing this spinoff. And so we're getting this set amount of money. Right. But all of us wanted to be fucking on our high horses. Right, because, yeah. Then we're like, oh, let's get somebody else. Yeah. No, fuck, I want to be on it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to pass this up. But um, if I were to be on another reality TV show, I would definitely do, like, something that would show off my, like... Athletic ability. Yeah. Like, I don't even work out, bitch, but, like, I like to win shit. And, yeah. like, I have heart, okay? I Do like Ninja to... America. What's it called? Warrior Ninja. Oh, I can't do that. That's just... That's... No, I couldn't do that. I'm looking at like I am a little. I'm kind of weak though. But, um, I would do like Survivor or something like that. That would be fun. I would do another reality show, but I wouldn't want it to be anything like Bad Girls Club or so, or Love and Hip Hop. Like I don't want that negativity in my life. You yeah. Know? If there was like a show that was still juicy without like all like that, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to live in a house. With no. Girls. No. And I always say like on my YouTube channel, I'm like they should bring a season of Bad Girls Club Back, where it's like, like a kind of where are they now edition, where we're all in the same right. city, but we all have our own lives and we get together like the housewives, right. but like none of us have to be married. Right, or be around each other in a house. Yeah, like, like we just show up. up for scenes. And right. if some shit goes down in the scenes, okay, cool. But right. Like, we don't have to live together. Right. In twin sized beds with some bitch next to you, like, Right, snoring. Oh, yeah. Right. I feel you. I would, I mean, that would be cool too because it's like focusing on you and your life and what yeah. you're doing, you know. Like, you could have your daughter in it. Right. You know, you could show like your aspect of your life, but now you gotta go meet Danny at brunch. So let's go. Yeah. Scene two. They need like a Bad Girls Club mom edition. No, because I'm not a mom. I'm gonna be on it. Well, Gabby can be on it and I'll just show up like yeah. in the back. Like, you can just pretend to be Gabby. No. <laughs> we have such different person. personalities. You guys look different too. Yeah. I mean, you guys are so twins, but you guys definitely look different. Mm -hmm. like, I can tell, like, the Claremont twins, I don't know who the fuck is who. Me neither. I'm like, which, which one is... Me neither. I cannot tell them apart. Not at all. It's so weird. And I'm happy for her to be out, because her poor sister, like, how would you feel if your sister was, like, locked up? I'm not, like, cool with them, but I did oh. have a conversation with Gabby. Like, if that was us, like, I would not be able... I would be hard, Yeah, right? I couldn't... I'd be, so sad. I'd be, like, freaking out. I'm like, is she okay in there? Right. That's tough. Like, what's going on? Person ain't no joke, bitch. But everything happens for a reason. Maybe a life lesson needed to be taught. Maybe she could teach other people. Exactly. Oh, why is my phone going off? I'm so fucking sorry, guys. Because you're probably, you're going to a party. Okay. Um, okay, we did that. Okay, so you are a mother to a beautiful girl. I am. And people want to know what's going on with you and your baby daddy. Only say... What you want because honestly family is personal and right then, and you don't have to dish anything you don't want right um i actually talked some shit just recently on mm -hmm. him um you guys can just go back and like look it up because i'm not gonna repeat it <laughs> um, i definitely can be petty as fuck like sometimes i can't hold my tongue but there there were times where i would just like let him get to me and i would talk so much shit online and then i'm like i look so stupid you mm -hmm. know like i look so petty but sometimes being petty is like it feels good it's fun I like a little bit of drama. It, Life is boring with no drama. I know, but it feels good sometimes to be petty. Like, yeah. Oh, you want to do this? All right, bet. Blast your ass. Yeah. Right. Um, we are not together. We haven't been together for over a year. Um, we definitely get together for our daughter as much as we can. But, like, le legit, like, we hate each other. It sucks. Um, well, I don't really... I should hate him, but, like, God said don't hate. So I'm like, okay, I don't hate, but, like, I think he hates me. Um, I don't think he hates you. I think he does. Probably hates himself. Maybe. That's probably true. Um, honestly, like, to be honest with you, like, let's keep it, like, just, like, really chill. He's a good dad to my daughter when he's there. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, like, our relationship was fucking shit. Yeah. Like, straight dog shit. And, um... People want to know how you, like, finally, like, just said, I'm, I'm done. Well, I mean, like, obviously you guys know it was abusive and toxic and toxic in many ways mm -hmm. and I stayed for a while and like when you're with somebody that just literally like just fucking breaks you down completely and like you just don't even know who you are anymore right. it's so hard to walk away so hard because your confidence is gone you don't know how to like 
be yourself. You don't know how to be strong. And like, it's really tough. And I know there's so many women out there that have gone through things that we've gone through. Yeah. And it's really hard to talk about. Um, and, and it took it took a while. It took a lot of like me being alone and me like really just like praying and like. Honestly, I've been trying to find my faith in God and stuff like that. I mean, this is like recent, like the last like six months of my life. But before that, I was so lost. I didn't know. Right. I had no direction. I didn't know where to go. I didn't who to talk to. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I don't need pity, but I always needed somebody to like just maybe like give me advice. And when you see red signs, like no matter how much you want to win or how much you think you can change him, you cannot change, or her. Yeah, you cannot change anybody you cannot change anybody people don't they think that they can't yeah like people that care a lot they think they could change people and you just really can't no and like you'll end up losing yourself you'll end up settling you'll end up in, in a bad place and mm -hmm. it's so hard to, to dig yourself out of depression it's so hard to dig yourself out of a dark place yeah and we will all go through it not everybody but you know what don't be down on yourself when you do find yourself like that but you you really need to like I don't know find your strength somehow and it's hard though girl. yeah like I feel like this year literally like what since like January it's like five months five six wait five five yeah I have been completely like detached but before that like we were still like messing around and stuff and like I felt like how am I ever going to move on if we hook up ra randomly though like it would be like random like every month or something like that it wasn't like all the time but like i was like i'm never gonna move on like what if i meet somebody you know and, like i'm still messing around with someone that's horrible for you yeah horrible for me um i don't know girl i'm just i'm done settling i'm so done like if i need a man like a man a real man a real man that wants to see me shine that wants to see me do good things in my life that's not jealous or controlling you know like that could be like my best friend, like my cheerleader, like right. fucking gas me up. Like I was, I was joking around and I'm like, my type of dude isn't going to be the dude that's judging me because I had OnlyFans. He'll be the one that's like, okay, babe, you want to shoot your content. You need like a guy that like supports you no matter what you do. Right. No matter what. Right. You know, like, okay, make your money. I, obviously, if I had a man, I would not do OnlyFans. But I'm right. just saying I want the type of man that wouldn't judge me because I had one before him. Right. You know? Dude, honestly, girl. Do your thing. Like, is anybody else paying your shit? Like, no. Like, don't, you, I don't, you know I've never given a fuck what anybody has ever said about me. Girl. Like, ever in my life. I'm like, I'm like the only person in America who's never been phased by any comments on social media. I think I have definitely been phased. Even though I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But, like, I think, like, somehow it, like, creeps back into my subconscious. And I'm like, and it does affect me. That's really? why I stop. That's why I stop reading comments. Like, I mean, I do try. I do read mine. But, like, I don't. I will not go on BGCT really. Oh, like, no. Read comments. Uh-uh, no. I don't even like them posting me, no. honestly. Yeah. But, um, fuck what everybody else says. Mm -mm. A mm -hmm. good advice is, honestly, like, don't. Like, don't even, don't even do that. Like, I did that, like first like in bag girl stuff i would read shit and i'm like oh my god like and the thing is at the time i was like that's I, why they do it right? i didn't care but they I do it so you really feel care. that way right that's why they do it they're like one person out there angry as hell in their pajamas eating like in popcorn smart food licking the white cheddar off their fingers is now typing a terrible <laughs> comment to you dude somebody said they want to like stab my unborn babe with a fucking fork yeah the and, like, comments are so bad if they're like, so wild. crazy and i'm like what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, who are your parents? Yeah. Where are your parents? Yeah. Like, it's nuts. Like, mm -hmm. people are fucking trolls. Yeah. Honestly, like, now now that I'm, like, in a good place and I'm, like, single as fuck. Did I say single? Yeah, I did. She's single! So I'm D, yes! Single AF. Um, I'm just in a different fucking place. I know what I want. I know the type of person I want to be with. Like, if you're not that fucking person, you can just, like, bye. bye. Goodbye. Bye. So if Wait, you meet someone, bye bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you meet someone and they don't live in Vegas, they live in Colorado. What are you doing? What if he asks you to move? He, he has all his shit together. He lives in a nice house. He said, "You and your daughter, pack your bags. You're coming to Colorado. What are you doing?" I mean, is he? So would this be like my perfect dream guy? Like, like your perfect dream guy. No red flags, like zero. Um. All right. Well, send my first class ticket. <laughs> we got our bags. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't know if I'll ever find that person. Me but, neither. Um, if I, if I honestly like 
really met a good person. Like, and they're they're out there, girl. Where? They, no, <laughs> I don't know. The whole know. comment section also wants to know where we should go to find him. Where is he? Um, I don't know. Probably on a farm somewhere in like Montana. I would do that. I don't think they would date someone like us though. Yeah, they would. On a farm from Montana, they bring us home. So what did you do for a living? Well, I, I started off by getting my ass beat on Bad Girls Club, <laughs> sprinkled with a little therapy on Bad Girls Club 13, and now I have a podcast about sex. What ha, What do you do? They tell them, no, son. That's I not know. That's what I kind of feel, too. I feel like when they meet me, they look at me like... They judge. But, like... Mm-hmm. I but I want an Italian man, too. Like, that's my dream. I want, like, an Italian man. And they, they just don't understand. I feel like I'm, like... I'm like beautiful. You are. But am I like screaming like psychopath or a bad person? No. Because like I feel like the moms like never like me. Like, how I'm do you like, dress when you meet them? Regular as fuck. What's regular? Like no titties, like really covered up. Like a t-shirt, like jeans. No, or workout clothes. So that's always a safe way to go. What do you mean? I would never wear workout clothes. Like spandex, like some like leggings and like a top and like some sneakers. Like a tight ass top like, though. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck that. Fuck <laughs> that. Um, honestly, the only mom that really liked me was um, Zulu's mom. Aww. Yeah, she passed away. And oh, RIP to her mom. It's awful. Yeah, she's like the only mom that liked me. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's sad. She was a good person. I didn't know her mom passed away. That's yeah, awful. That's really sad. Um, so, yeah, there is a Mr. Right out there for everybody. Don't settle for last. No. Nope. If you can't find a good person, then guess what? Be your own good person. Love your fucking self. Period. Literally. Don't but do it. But then again, at the end of the day, what if you... Like, I get that saying, okay? I, I'm, like, literally living that saying right now. Yeah. But even in the back of that saying... You're lonely. I want, want somebody, like, to share my life with. Like, I want a best friend that I can, like, fall asleep with, and, like, he gets old, I get old, and we're, like, giggling about how we get old, you know? Well, lesbians, like, those are usually, like, best friends. I know. Yeah. My um, dad always says that. He just calls me. He goes... Um, do you just want, like, are you just going to be a lesbian now? Yeah. Like, really, Dad? Yeah, no, honestly, but they, they, they're they awful, too, though. Yeah, not, I feel like I'd be fist fighting. Yeah, bitches are, are awful, too. Um, I've dated both, but I feel like when you, like, want somebody, like, I get it. You want that, like, you want to cuddle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wanna, like, sure do. I, I mean, I cuddled not too long ago, but mm-hmm. that's all it was. And, like, you know, the, now I'm kind of, like, I think I'm ready to, like, not like sleep around, but like maybe like have a little fun. Have a little fun. Like I don't live, bitch. Like me neither. In like three years, I've been with the same idiot, <laughs> and not even like with him, but like I only fucked him. And I'm like, okay, like, bitch, you're bad, and you're getting old, bitch. You better use your body now. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not gonna. Say you're not getting time. old. If you're getting old, I'm getting ancient. No, bitch. I'm 32. You look, you look so young though. When I have my makeup off, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> I look young. You are young. Like, I look young. You no, look, but I'm, like, 32. Is, for you, though, you look so young, so when you're older, you're going to look young still. For me, I've always been, like, okay. You don't look old. When I was 13, bitch, I looked like I was 19. So I'm, like, okay, bitch, when, <laughs> I am, when I'm 33, I'm about to look 39. So I quit smoking cigarettes. This doesn't Oh, yeah, you used to smoke cigarettes. I like, did. hella cigarettes on the yeah, show. me and Julie were, like, <laughs> Yeah. I love Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, I don't talk to her. I haven't talked to her in years. She still talks to Gabby, though. Aw. Well, maybe because you have certain friends on the show. Yeah, it was very negative. Yeah. That's not like yeah, I went through so much stuff. Yeah. Like, because me and Sarah were cool before. You know, me and Judy were really cool yeah. before. And so we're, it was a shit show. Yeah, like, I don't, like, I didn't think me and Julie were going to be friends forever, but I definitely didn't think, like, that's how our friendship she's, was going to end. She's a um, unique person. Yeah. Yeah, I, like a different... I enjoyed. I enjoyed her. Yeah, it was fun. She's out here. You should hit her up. See if she wants to grab a drink with you. Oh wait, oh my god, it's quarantine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was at a bar, so it's cool. Really? What bar is fucking open? I don't know. Where was I? I was in Vegas, actually. Oh, okay. Sorry. But they're open. Um, some places are open, yeah. Okay, so let's get straight to the tea. Now that we're talking about <gasps> drinks. Okay. <clears throat> like people want to know. Like my blue drink. Yeah, people want to know. How you ended up cleaning up Blue Face Baby's environmentals, his home. <laughs> okay, let's let's start from like day one. <laughs> okay. Um, I forget who sent me his picture, which is like over a year ago. Okay, a long and time I was ago. Like, oh my god, he's like hot, whatever. So like, I followed him, commented. All right, now we're following each other. Now we're like in our. So you feet. did what I did, but you didn't. You didn't do the DM. You just did the commenting. It's right. kind of the same thing. Well, we ended up um, exchanging numbers, and like we just 
talked about regular shit, like our kids, like normal shit, you mm -hmm. know? And then that was that because then I ended up getting back with my baby daddy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Just like stop talking. And like he didn't give a fuck. He has like probably a million other bitches on the yeah, flight. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so um, we would like text sometimes or whatever. And then like I saw that video of them girls fighting and I said they need to leave bad girls up to me and I was just joking like ha 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 he was right. like plot it was funny whatever and then like his music video came out and it had the bad girls club like intro on it and I'm like yo this is hella funny you know and then he was talking about like cleaning up and I hit him up I actually called him and um I did call him I was like I was like is your house clean yet <laughs> he's like no you want to come over I'm like I don't know like maybe I was like I'm not trying to like fight anybody or anything he's like no it's just be for fun I was like okay well I'm just coming to clean your house I'm not trying to like fuck or anything like mm -hmm. you know and <laughs> and he was like no like I respect that like it's whatever and he just sent me a flight and I came over that was last weekend right that was last week that was Friday Damn, time flies by so And I'm back in LA again, bitch. Are you here for Blueface? No. You were in a music video, Trey, uh... Trey Cyrus. Yeah. People want to know, like, how you made that connection. Did you even know it was him? Okay, um... Or is it a girl? One of the fans, um, I think it was, like, Faith Santiago 5 on Instagram. You're welcome. I have no idea. Is that a fan page? It's, like, a fan, and, like, he always, like... He's always positive. Yeah. He's always signet for, like, us, and, um... He sent me something and it was like, um, Trace is looking for a tattooed model in Las Vegas. You should write him. And so I wrote and I was like, hey, I'm in Las Vegas. And I'm like, yep, we want to use you. So um, they paid me to do a music video and I met um, Miley Cyrus as well. But um, yeah, I love Miley Cyrus. And like, I honestly named my daughter Noah and that's their little sister's name is Noah Cyrus. That's like kind of like where I got it. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird. And I'm like, how in the hell am I sitting like on her brother's lap? Because I love Miley and I- That's how the world works. And I love Noah. Like I love the name Noah for a girl. That's kind of where I got it. Did you meet her? No. no. We're going to make this happen. Miley Cyrus. Love you. She wants to meet you. I'm kind of a lesbian still. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a lesbian still too. Yeah. So I'm like, what's that bitch? Just kidding. No, I would 110% love her to death. Loved her when she was psycho. I love when she came out onto MTV and like smoked a joint, just gave everyone the middle finger. Like right. the no fucks giving is the attitude you should have in life. But I would 110% sit on her ex-husband's dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's so fine. So fine. I understand why she was so You gotta fat. wonder what's wrong with him, though. Because like that family is like so perfect. You gotta be like, so what's wrong with them? Dude. You can't have just, it all. Just because you're fucking famous, like, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, these famous, famous, famous people, like, they have the most issues. The most. The most issues. Like, like um, psychological, <laughs> depression, mental, physical, mental, emotional, like, they're the real fucked up ones. Yeah. We're just semi. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I definitely have issues. Me too. For sure. Me too. Like, 102%, I need a therapist. I am my own therapist. That's what I say too, but it's like, is it working? Have we have we gotten further? I've gone far. Have you met Jesus? Not not yet. You should meet Jesus. What he's, do you mean? He's a great therapist. Oh, Jesus. you mean like pray? Yeah, the in God. Oh yeah, girl, I pray. Okay. What if I met met met, met no. a person? I'm like, I hope not. No. I need to meet him yet. <laughs> no. Give me uh, a couple fucking hundred years. Honestly, I think just being like a positive person and like praying and like really believing in like. I don't mean to sound like a damn Christian or anything, but right. like, I don't want to put a label on me. But I believe in God. Yeah, I believe on I believe in Jesus. Like, me too. Like you believe in that? You believe in ghosts? You believe, you believe in spirits? I do believe you, in ghosts. You believe in mediums and um, um psychics? Like, yeah. Why wouldn't you believe in Jesus? Like mm -hmm. he legit was one of us, mm -hmm. but like the most perfect one of us that there ever could be. And he just wanted to show us the way to be mm -hmm. and to treat people. Like that's all it really is. And like people don't get that. No. So like. Fuck, what the fuck? I don't know. It's just like, that's another topic that we can't even like. Yeah, we like, can't even like scrape the surface on yeah. that because there's so many different religions and beliefs. People just want to be cool. Yeah. And like, be like, noticed and mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, like, being noticed is really not that great of a thing. Yeah, it's cool if you have, like, you have like a plan behind it, but it's not all, all that. It's really not all but that. There comes, it comes with a lot of baggage. It does. And you have to have really thick skin. Yeah. Like, people don't get that. Yeah. Like, like, let's say, like, for Iggy for once, like, she was doing really good, and then, like, she fell off, like, she couldn't take the heat. Like, no. She got so much bad, like, 
backlash. And she's she, fucking stunning. And she fell off for years, and then she finally came back. I like her music. I do too. I you, like her. I love her. I love her. Actually. Something about her, I'm like, I think she's. She, I, love yeah. her. Yeah. I think she's bad as fuck. She sounds bad as fuck. Yeah, like, I listen to her songs. Like, I just want to fuck is one of my jams. Yeah. I like her shit. Of course, that's your jam. Um, <laughs> Even though I'm not fucking. You know what I mean? Like, um, it, it's just it comes with it does come with a lot, but if you're not if you're not everybody, sometimes made, you just gotta take a break. Not everybody's made for no. it. No, I took. But a then once you make it, there's no coming back from making it. Right. You have made it now. I took a break. I took a long. You were gone for a second. I was. You like, tweeted uh, something about in LA, and I was like, "Oh, bitch, come on the podcast." But uh, other than that, I have not seen you on my timeline. I know. I was. I just like honestly, even like I, I've um, deactivated my accounts for weeks. I hope that's not because of your ex. Um, I know it wasn't. It was actually for me. I needed peace. Yeah. I needed to stop wasting my time looking at everybody. It's else's addicting life. too. Yeah. When there's nothing else to do, like you just like. Dude. Go to grab your phone and it's like you go on there to check your shit and then you just start scrolling and then you see something you like and then you click on it and then you go through there mm -hmm. and then it's just a cycle. So I was like, okay, I need to focus on me. Mm -hmm. And um, focusing on me was just not social media. It was really just spending time with my daughter, spending time with myself. Like I started doing yoga. I can't even. I need to start doing. I can barely fucking touch my toes, but it's cool. Downward dog. Downward dog. Cat Warrior. Cow. Cat cow. <laughs> Gypsy. Yeah. Oh, making sure. Um, what was it scorpion or some shit i don't know whatever i honestly was like i need to do stuff for me yeah and um that's really all i've been focusing on good for you yeah thank you that's all you need to do I'm that's what i'm trying to do i was depressed i'm not gonna say depressed but i was not in a good mood for the past two weeks for no really re not two weeks uh two weeks before i got my dog oh. so before i got my dog i, I, I kind of felt like because i was on this uh wavelength of just filming content for my YouTube over and over and over and over again. Cause some weeks I just feel really motivated and I just want to talk a lot. Right. But then there's other weeks where I'm like, I don't feel like talking to anybody. Right. So if I feel that way, it's going to be in my video and people are going to know my energy's off. Mind you, people will know that your moods are up and down, Of course. but I get in these moods where I'm like really depressed, but it's just because I need that moment to just like feel my own emotions, right. but I'm not, I, I'm not depressed to the point where I'm like, crying or I want to die like, right. I just feel like okay let me recharge my own batteries right and that's you need to do that mm -hmm. um there was times when I wasn't happy and I couldn't like when I would try to take a picture because I was like never on social media my shit was dry as shit yeah and like I wasn't posting I wasn't doing nothing because I wasn't happy with yeah. myself so whenever I would take a picture and like I looked at it I'm like Bitch, you're fucking fake as fuck. Like, I would look at the picture, I'm like, that's the fakest fucking smile I've ever seen. Yeah, sometimes when I smile in pictures, I say that. I'm like, so, wow, that's fake. So sometimes I'm like, I would just stay off, you know? But <laughs> quit comparing your life to other people. Yeah. You know what they have? Cool for them. Like, did they suck dick to get it or what? But yeah. anyway. Um, A lot of people do. You know, like, it's not about that. It's not about what you have, like, on the outside. It, it's, it. I know it like matters in this life, like this day and age. But, like, like if you don't have a Lamborghini, you're not cool. Right. Like oh, you're I hate broke. Lambos. You're so broke. Like I'd rather be in a truck. Like I don't want to sit. Or like a, like a safe SUV. Like right. not like a two seater. Yeah. That if it gets hit by a Mack truck, you're done. Yeah. Like no chance of that. Right. I would just say honestly, fuck. Fuck what everybody thinks about you and what mm -hmm. they say, what they have. Like, that does not define who you are. Just because they have this and that, that, that doesn't make you, like, less than yeah. the person. Yeah, yeah. Like, because they can be fucking assholes and you can be a great person. So, yep. therefore, you're better than them. Yep, period. Literally. They can yeah. have $5 million, you can have five. But who's happier at the end of the day? Because a lot of people that I've met that have money, ooh, honey, they are not happy. I know. I'm like, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy because I've been broke before. So, when I get money, I'm going to be happy and rich. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> same, I can't same, wait. same here. When money <laughs> flows in, I'm like, thank you, God. God. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. Like, because you're grateful. Yeah. People that have gratitude will get so much more benefit out of life yeah. than those that just take it for granted. Yeah. People come and go, money comes and go. Like, look at like what happened in coronavirus. So many people lost their businesses. So many people. Their homes, their cars, yeah. everything. But before they were probably like Living the dream. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be really hard for people to bounce back from yeah, this. I think so too. Um, so before I forget, uh <laughs> Let's get some tea. Okay. We got a little off track, but before I forget, um, so did you and Blueface, you know, knock boots? Is that the saying? What's a knock boot? I don't know. I've heard my parents say that sometimes. Oh, fuck. That's how old, bitch. I know. Did you guys, uh, you know, we fuck? 
we, <laughs> fuck. We um we drank beer. He drank Bud Light. Isn't that dope? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. But what else? <laughs> um we we Netflix and chilled. She's pleading the fifth, you guys. Dude, we Netflix and fucking chilled. She chilled. She Netflix and chilled. Yeah. Okay. When I think of Netflix and chilling. That's all I gotta say is Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. <laughs> and then your baby daddy was online. Oh god. Talking shit. So mad. Dude. I mean, I would be mad too. You had a bad bitch. You didn't treat her right. And guess what? She ain't yours no more. And now you're gonna like, now she's gonna fucking be sliding in these motherfuckers' DMs because I put her onto a game. <laughs> the leaf, the eyes, and the leaf. That's all you gotta say. No words. Just that. I know. I'm scared of DMs. Why? Because people suck. Yeah, some people will, will, won't answer or won't open it. Some people will. Go after those people that will. All right, I'm Copy gonna and it. paste the same message to like 10 dudes. At least two of them are gonna respond. Are they gonna be good for me though? Probably not. Yeah. But is any man good for us, girl? Everyone out here on these streets like lying. I mean, cheating. I guess I could slide into DMs that like I would just like to maybe have like a one night stand with. But I'm not really a one night stand. Me neither. Person. I get attached. But actually, I will say after I send someone's DMs and we fucked, I in my mind convinced myself. <laughs> That we were gonna fuck again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. It's like, can I get some more? But then he like he had the decency to hit me up and was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, have a chick. And he's like in a full blown like public relationship now. So he was with her when I fucked him. Like he's a piece of shit. Sex was amazing. I have no regrets about the one night stand. But he actually made me practice that it can happen and you will be okay with it. Right. Like I'm full I was fine. You know what I say? Do them how they do you. Yeah, like, like go over, fuck the shit out of him, slap him across his face, bite his lip, like, and say, "Call my Uber." Right. I'll see you never. Even Literally. though you pray that they hit you up like <laughs> next week. It's like when you find me out again. Don't even say that. Like, hi. I'll I mean, see you. if 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 they want to like fly me out again, would I say yes or no? Yeah. I, I actually no. You I, hit him with a no. No, I hit him with a fuck yes. Yeah, just a le like a small answer. Let's, let's Netflix and chill again. Oh, we, we coming back to this blue bottle over here. Oh, I just <laughs> drink blue beers. <laughs> I was like, hey, it's blue. But she doesn't leave blue balls, right? Do you know what that is? It's like when they're, like, they're I think it's when they're like about to come. And then you like kind of like say. Oh, like, they, like I'm done. Yeah, or like it doesn't happen and they have like a. It hurts their balls or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, I wonder what that feels like. I always wondered what it was like to have a dick. I wouldn't leave anybody with blue balls. I have, and I will again if they piss me off. I'll do it intentionally too. Like if it's right oh. after our fight and they think this is makeup sex. <gasps> oh. I'm like, I actually am like so tired. And I'll literally roll over and go to bed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Um, if I'm gonna fly somewhere to like, if I it's like a dick appointment, like. I'm gonna get it in. Yeah, same. Cause you only have like 48, 72 hours. Right, and like honestly, like like you said, like your sex drive goes up as you get older. Mm -hmm. And like mine's crazy, and I'm not having sex. I'm not, me neither, but I'm just now starting to feel like. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm ready. What's Give up? me the dick. What's up? <laughs> but I don't discriminate. But then again, like I kind of I'm really fucking picky, bitch. Like uh, uh, you have to be hot. Isn't that fucked up? I'm so shallow. No. Like, I can't like fuck some like ugly person that's like. Rich. Fat and rich. And That's old. what people do in LA. They fuck like anyone who has money. I'm like, I can, I just can't. I mean, are you buying me a, a whole house? No, they're not. Okay, then goodbye. Goodbye. Are you buying me like a brand new car off the lot? No? Okay, then goodbye. why do you, why do you want my number? Why should I give you my number? So like, cause I'm gonna give you the best sex ever. Girl. I don't need that. I got my hand. I don't masturbate. Oh. Um, Literally, some guy called me last night. And was I like, do. Can we masturbate on the phone together? I was like, That's I don't like do that. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Is that hard? Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't. Have, have you I ever had phone sex? Yes. I can't do it. I'm just like I'm a sexy person in the bedroom. I'm not outside of the bedroom. Like don't even like don't even try it. Okay, I've had phone sex maybe like just a couple times, and it was weird, but I was desperate. It was my boyfriend too, but like. We were not up together. We we're like in different states, but um, masturbation is cool though. Like, I just I just feel like for me it's like that four seconds of satisfaction is not the same as getting a nice hard dick. So I'm gonna pass. I'll wait. Right. That right. way when I do fuck, like I haven't been touched. This is all yours, baby. Right. You're ready. I haven't <laughs> even touched myself. I. I don't know. Like 
it just depends. I don't like having sex and then like not coming. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? You yeah, came, but you never know. You, you, came, came, you don't know if it's gonna be good as a man. You came and I didn't. Like what? what they don't I, give a fuck either. Some guys do. They so, want to make. They want to make sure they. Yeah, they'll them. ask too. Did you come? I'm and like, I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, a, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it, but like. Sometimes I'm just so like quick and I'm like, bitch, you're so pathetic. You're like quick and coming? But yeah. you can come more than once in a set. Just depends on how horny you are. But me, I'm like one and done. I'm like, can you hurry the fuck up now? Oh my God, no. I, I'll, I'm like, no. number one is not enough. No. Maybe it's because I go so long and I don't touch myself. Oh, I, I mean, I don't really like do that all the time, but like sometimes, but like. But you do it like in your car in a public place. No, weirdo. <laughs> no. That's fucking gross. <laughs> um, no. No, 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 no. What None do you, of that. What do you? Girl, like, no, I don't even touch myself. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I humped a blanket when I was like in eighth grade. That's, that's sick. <laughs> that's wrong. Um, You've never humped a pillow or a blanket? I don't think There's so. There's like porn videos about humping pillows. It's like a thing. Really? Yeah, I don't hump pillows. I hump blankets when I like just came into my sexuality and was like figuring out. Why don't you do out. that on your thing? No, girl. I don't do anything rated R on my OnlyFans. Rated PG-13. It is. 14. I don't do anything that goes against my morals. Because if someone screen records my shit and posts it, I'm like, okay. Yeah, because they can do that. Yeah, I'm like, who cares? Right. They can screen record anything, baby girl. Right, I know. Nothing. Nothing's private, guys. Mm -hmm. Nothing is private. And then it's, on the, it, then it's on the internet. Once it's on the internet, it's there for life. Yes, for fucking life, bitch. For fucking Isn't life. that weird? Yeah. Anyways, before we go, we're going to do... We're gonna, she's gonna answer one truth and one have you ever. Oh, fuck. And then we're done. All right. So pick, pick uh -huh. an index card, any index card. Well, yeah, that's my favorite color, so I'm gonna go with this one. Do you read it? Yep. <sighs> truth. If your sex life, sex life had a theme song, what would it be? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, let me think, because I'm not really good at this. I'm terrible on on-the-spot thinking. I'm not so. good at songs. Um, oh, yeah. Have you ever loved somebody <laughs> so much? <laughs> I'm a sensual bitch. Like, I want to make Wait, love. would you fuck to that song? No. Like, honestly, Brandy, have you ever? I mean, if it came on, I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't change it. Yeah, but. obviously, you're not going to be mid, like, dick riding. Like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, um, I'm like, okay. I'm a, I'm a, okay, if I'm with somebody, I can be really sexual. And like, I'm gonna give you the best sex ever. Like, I'm fucking like, mm -hmm. my vagina will, like, a hand will come out and like grab your dick and be like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> and like, that's just, how, but that's just my, my feelings. Like, my yeah. feelings are grabbing it. Like, right. And like, some people say Scorpios and like sex. Like, that's yeah. what they're really talking about. Cause like, we're so like, like emotionally, like, we give it our all. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be nasty. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be like freaky or kinky. Um, like, I'm more like, I'd rather like do it slow. And a little rough, but like slow and like sensual and like that's really me because like that's I'm like a a make a love type of person. Yeah, I'm I see. I like a little bit of that, but I also like a little bit of you know, like, some freak me, uh, yeah, freak nasty. I mean, you shit. have to like throw it in there, like you know, start off mix. slow. Yeah, you know, like go a little hard and make then, like, out a little bit. Oh yeah, let like, bite, breathe in my ear. Yeah, do you like that? Yeah, I like it too. Suck some people neck, don't like it. it. Mm-hmm. To kiss the inner thighs, right? You know? Oh yeah, that's nice. Mm, that's so nice. <laughs> um, you know, like play with your tongue, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I can't do any. Oh yeah. That. You know, my baby daddy said when I was at Blueface's house, he was like, "Do that one thing with your tongue," and I said, "Bet." <gasps> He's a psychopath. Because he knows what the fuck I'm talking Yeah. Because like, I, I hope got, you did it too. We're not gonna get into details. I got skills. It. I mean, I'm like fucking grandma now. Okay, listen, I don't. I'm like, I fell off. You didn't fall off. What is this? You're back and better than ever. First exclusive interview with right. Danielle Victor. Yes. This is Have You Ever. Have You Ever Loved Somebody? Man, that's where I got this stuff. I know, <laughs> is it? Stupid. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm like, that's where I got it from. Have you ever accidentally sent a nude to a parent? <gasps> No, no, but I did say something to my brother. And it wasn't a new though. What was it? It wasn't it was a sex tape, was it? No, it was like a video of me and I looked hella hot and I was like, I stuck my tongue out and shit. And he was like, what the fuck? And Sorry. I meant to just send it to his like NFL player like back in like 2016, I think. And I sent it to my fucking brother. 
I'm so embarrassed. What did you do smell like? Hey, sorry. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Prom my text. bad. Prom text, don't ask me what I'm doing on the weekends. Oh my god, he was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh my <laughs> god, look. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, how the fuck did I do that? Have you ever like sent the wrong shit to the wrong yeah. person? Yeah, I'll uh, screenshot a text message, a uh, text message done, and send it back. To the person I was texting, and they're like, "Who the fuck are you sending that to?" I've done that too. That ruined one thing for me. I went to send it to my best friend. And I sent it to this the guy that I was texting, and like, he stopped talking to me. <laughs> I was like, "Well, I guess Sounds I was good luck. right because they want to be private and shit." Yeah. Whatever. Who cares? Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck them. Anyways, that's a wrap on Swallow It. Rocky, where can they find you? Oh, social media wise. Oh, um. <laughs> She's like thinking about it. She's like, you want me to give my address? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my PO box. Do you have a PO box? You can uh, give it to them. No, it's cool. Um, it's at Pretty Girl Rocky. Under isn't there an oh, underscore? Yeah. Pretty Girl underscore Rocky, and there's no I in girl. So G R L. Yeah. Pretty G R L underscore Rocky. You're and welcome. that's across the board. Yeah. Do you have um, a YouTube channel? Yeah, that's for Cal Santiago. You should. Do you post on it? Barely. You need to get on that. I don't we know. We're gonna, we're gonna talk after. Well, we'll listen, I might move out here like in a year or something. Well, hopefully, we're not too old by then. I'm gonna be 30 fucking free. <laughs> <laughs> Less okay, to be alive. But maybe but. I can just like, if I can just come out here, it's not that far. Like, yeah. I'm legit like right there. You whenever know I mean? you wanna come, and you can stay with me whenever you want. Yeah, we can just maybe do stuff because, like, yeah. honestly, if you look up to me, bitch, I'm not gonna do it. But I know you're gonna do it. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, and no, we can do, do stuff for your, I'll your channel. You. How many subscribers do you have? Um, I have like 40. 2000. That's that good. Hold on, let me see. Wait, one second. Have you posted? Have you posted regularly? Try to post once a week. Yeah, right. I don't have time. I know. I need to make you time. You need to make time, girl. I know. We'll talk about it. Anyways, okay, whatever, guys, yeah. follow her across the board. She's working on a new project. Um, It'll be on Fox this summer. Mm -hmm. It's She's called Second Chance Saves Lives. Oh, okay. So you can talk about it. Okay, um, I don't want to talk too much. Yeah, because I, I was like, I'm not sure what we can like actually say about that. Yeah, um, honestly, it's going to be a different um, a different light for me. It's about um, giving people second chances and um, helping people like mm -hmm. in so many different ways. Yeah. Like, n not more than just one. Like, look what our government is doing to us. You know what I mean? Like, we're over here. We need to depend on each other, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we need to help each other. Yeah. And this show is really just about that. Mm -hmm. It's giving people chances and helping people, um, like... There's so much to it. It's like so much. I don't want to get into it, but it's going to be a great thing. And I like helping people. Like, it makes me feel good about myself. And right. because I also care a lot. Right. So, yeah. So, she has a new show coming out. So, you can look forward to that. This is her uh, first interview back before yeah. we get her back on YouTube. Right. So, follow her on YouTube, too. She probably hasn't um, posted in a while, yeah. but I'll be texting her to remind her. I've been doing that with people. Right. I'm like, don't forget to post on your OnlyFans today. Don't forget to upload that You're like a video. mentor. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been there. I've been like, like you know, where I don't have you enough You need help sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you just need someone to be like, do it. Mentors yeah. are fucking amazing, guys. Honestly, like, look into it. Look into it. Because my mentors, the, um, the owners of the show, their, name, um, their names are Paul and Tiffany Newtall. They're married. And let me tell you, like they're they're on me yeah. every day, like checking in, making sure you're doing good. Yes, they send me prayers. We pray. Um, they send me just all types of positive things every day, yeah. and like I love that. Like that is so great because I've always I prayed for I prayed for a mentor, and I legit got got one. one. Yeah, see, you manifestation is real. Yeah. Pray for sure it comes true, girl. Yes, let me tell you. Yes. Okay, so um, don't forget to follow her on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram, XXO Danielle, Swallow It Podcast. Um, I also have two other pages, the official Victor Twins for my twin sister and I. And my dog has a page, Little Caesar the Frenchie. If you want to follow him, it's a French bulldog. He's, He's really so cute. cute. He's so cute. <laughs> Anya will be streaming everywhere, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher. And the visuals will always be on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Danielle Victor. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in, to swallow it, open wide, take it all in. All Peace right. out, bitches. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Take it all in, Rocky. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.